So we have come to West Morling in Kent. This is somewhere that I haven't been since I was a wee nipper. Well, I've probably been to West Morling 20 years ago. Josh has never been. Never been before in my life. No, so we're gonna come and explore. We're gonna go and explore the village first. We're starting here in Manor Country Park. Just picked ourselves up a coffee from Standard. the little cafe. Standard, yeah. We're gonna come and explore this later because I used to hang out here when I was a kid. It's kind of cool, really, coming back. Um, there's like a tower here. There's like the historic village center. We'll oh. There's some excitable ducks. <laughs> So to get to the village from Manor Country Park, we've got to walk over this cute little wooden bridge, up these cute little steps. We do like a little bridge. We love a little bridge, I don't we know do why. Love a bridge. Simple know things why. in life. It's Coffee, wooden bridge, we're happy. <laughs> this cute little church. It's really cute, it's got a very it's got a very pointy. tall, yeah, very pointy spire, isn't it's got it? It's a clock on the side, but I don't think you can see it from this angle. Oh, well, maybe we'll have a walk up there and have a look on the way back. But I was just saying, it's very well groomed here. It's very quiet as well, isn't it? Very quiet. It's a bank holiday, I thought it would be busier. Mm. We've decided to walk into the churchyard before we walk our way into the village. It's, it's, quick... it's huge, this churchyard. It stretches for quite a way, but here's the cute little church. Oh! Right on cue. You couldn't have timed that well. There's the clock that Josh was talking about. <laughs> How random is that? Nice. So we're in the high street now. It's a very quintessentially British high street where you've now got the modern wonders of Costa Coffee and oh, Tesco's. I didn't, I didn't see Costa Coffee, all I saw was but you've, it's mixed with like these historic buildings, like this stone one with the clock on the front. This one over here is kind of wonky. And then what screams modern day Britain more than a red phone box uh -huh. that is now home to a defibrillator? <laughs> what an amazing use for it though. <laughs> that is, yeah. Might as well make it use for something. They've even still got a cute little post office getting ready for the Queen's Jubilee. It's closed. It is closed, it's a bank holiday. <laughs> That's true. So this is one of the things we've come here to see. This is the West Morling Manor Cascade, or Abbey Cascade, I think it's called actually. Or as I more affectionately know it, the West Morling Waterfall. Told you there was a waterfall. Well, I didn't quite believe you, but that's a different kind of waterfall and I like that, that's really cute. It's obviously ornamental, it's artificial, the water's actually pumped. There is actually a spring underneath, but the water's pumped up to create the cascade. It falls down yeah. into a drain down here. And then it goes off down there. It's cool, isn't it? Oh, I like it. Also, something fascinating about this is they don't really know why it's here or when it was built. There is a stone somewhere in the wall that dates to some point in the 1800s, but they think the cascade is older than that because they actually found a painting in Tate Britain in London of the West Malling Cascade done by a man called Turner, and it was dated in the 1790s. So it's obviously a lot older than it actually looks. Hmm. There's it actually a... Yeah, there's a little blue plaque you can come here and read. It's just down the road, you just cross the and road. That, that does say about Turner, the man that painted it. So yeah. he died in 1851, so. <laughs> so we've just found this bronze statue hidden in the trees here, this little seating area with these cute little buildings behind it. And on the back, it depicts eight different scenes from West Mauling's history. It's cool, it's like a quirky little hidden gem just in the oh. tree. She's just stood there with a bird with a I cloak thought it on. Was Pocahontas, but it's I was not really Pocahontas, that'd be grave then. <laughs> yeah. Look at this cute little street. How amazing is this? I feel like I'm in like a back street in York or something. Uh huh. People on, that uh, out of the UK will appreciate like Do you this. know what it reminds me of actually? Do you remember when we went to Chillum? Yes. This has got a kind of Chillum vibe going on. I like it. I like it. Can't also, I can smell food and it's making me hungry. We'll get some lunch, don't worry. You can't beat the older white with the black beans, can you? So 
So we just grabbed ourselves a little snack and a cold drink from Tesco's. We was going to eat something in one of the restaurants, but... So a lot of them are shut at the moment. Yeah, and which is a shame. One of them looked very pricey. Another day. <laughs> Food looked good though. Food looked good. But not in our price. We're on a budget today. <laughs> anyway, we've sat down here on this bench with this view. Cricket ground, but it is the old county ground according to the sign. Apparently, once the most important place in Kent for cricket. Hmm. Who knew? I never knew that. I I've never been, knew that. You know, I've been there so many times as a kid. Probably never paid attention. We may be skipping lunch in Westmoreland today, but obviously we couldn't resist finding somewhere to get ourselves an ice latte. We've just been to Roses, as you can see on the cup. Cute, cute little place with some absolutely delicious Very looking busy, cakes. But those cakes, we've resisted because we're on a bit of a health kick, but my <laughs> God, they look so good. Really good, like very, and the lady, she was big, it was a vegan cinnamon roll. Is yes. Was? So oh, I call it no, it you're so talking of the sourdough Chelsea bun. Oh, oh my God. But it was all so of them. like gooey and sticky and. We're going to be back. I, that's a perfect little place to sit in the winter with a nice hot coffee yep. and a cake yep. and just cheer your winter blues up. Anyway, we're heading back this way now, out of the village centre. We're going to go back up towards Manor Country Park, explore around there, and we're going to go and find St. Leonard's Tower as well. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. see, there still loads to do. Have a cheeky look at that. Mm. How's your coffee? quite nice actually. I, I saw, I did see in there, they use a local coffee roaster as well in Horsham. Oh, I'm sure they said skinny on it. Maybe it was your one, <laughs> the skinny one. They're just describing me. How strange is this? I didn't even notice this old water pump on the way down. And I was just reading the little plaque here that it was reinstated as part of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's Silver Jubilee celebrations in 1977. Oh, fancy that. Here it? we it's are now, weekend. Platinum Jubilee. There we go. Pump it up. Pump it up. Up. Look at this place, Deuces Manor. I bet that's worth a few mil. Oh! What an unusual sound. It, was that, <laughs> it sounded like one of the birds in the park. <laughs> so I've just walked down the road. We found the entrance. I didn't realise it was this close. Kissing gate. You're welcome, guys. Oh, right, hang on. Let me just. Oh my god, I'm not that skinny. <laughs> Here we go. Cute. It's tiny. just there, isn't it? Like tiny but cute. I was reading about it as well, and it said that they don't really know why it's here. It like, is just in the middle of. But they, they don't know what it is. They don't know if it was part of an old castle, whether it was just like for show, or. I was going to say because this there. is this is only it. So I'm assuming it went all around and stuff. Wait, anyway, we can walk up around to the front. So. Oh well, let's do that. So there's yeah, like a little walkway just down the side there. I can't really see much, so this is the front of it. Which is pretty huge. So this is where we've just walked down this hill. Down this hill? Up this hill. I'm already puffed out. Nobody's in. Hello. Hello. Oh my god, could you imagine if somebody responded now? They'd be like, do you want to come in? Come inside for a nice Someone cup of tea. The door. <laughs> come on in. <laughs> so we've just got back into Manor Park. We're gonna now explore. Have a little look around. Thinking about that tower though, mm. you know that mansion that I showed that I said, oh, I bet that's worth some millions. Yeah. The wall that that tower is on goes right along the side of it. So I wonder if the tower was something to do with the mansion. Maybe. I've know. solved the mystery. I've solved Westmoreland's greatest mystery. Although if you Google it, it probably says that somewhere. I don't know. Comment down below, let us know. We should probably just Google it and not be lazy. But this we is like pretty. This we is like pretty, though. it is pretty. This is pretty. let me spin you around. What he's trying to say is we don't do Google. Well, we do do Google, but we like to find out for ourselves. Yeah, we like to just turn up, guess, and make it up, and then then find out if we're right later on. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we are greeted with as we walk in. It's probably one of those things that looks better in person than it does on video. Also, the little cafe where we got the coffee from this morning sells duck food. Yeah, and they also sell dog food, which Jason actually thought was, was it flapjack? You I thought, thought it, was it was flapjack. And I was like, it's really weird that they've made the flapjack a dog bone shape, and then I realised it was a dog treat. And I was like, well, you can try it. Anyway. You can have one. I need a wee, and the cafe's got toilets. No one needs to know that. Oh my God, look at these. Oh, they are so adorable. Just one lagging behind. And then you've got this horrible thing about coming over. Oh. Go away, coot. Is that a coot or is that a moorhen? I don't know. Yeah, go on, duck. 
You tell it. Get it, duck. Go on, duck. Go away, you horrible thing. That's it. I saved ducks now. <laughs> We've just come up the back of Manor Park and it opens up into like these huge meadows. There's horses over there. You can go on a pilgrimage that way. But God knows where we'd end up, probably Tunbridge somewhere. Not today. So we are going to go back through here, which is the entrance to the actual park. But there is some meadows for us to walk through. There's some stiles for us to cross and some gates for us to go through. Catch you having a stretch, did we? No, it's just all of a sudden got really hot. But I think it's because we come out here and it's open. Oh, oh, oh. Buttercup. Do you like butter? I don't know if you, you can do it. You have to put it under your chin. I don't know if you can do it on my chin. Oh no, you're too hairy. Let's well, just it. tell us. Do you like butter? Let's do it on there. Look. Oh yeah, there you go. It's I working. Do like butter. So you like butter. So comment down below if you used to do that. I don't know if this is just a British thing. We used to put these under your chin, and if it reflects the yellow onto your chin, you like butter. Yeah, that's but right. Yeah, I think everyone likes butter. I was going to say <laughs> by that theory. Spoiler alert: it does it to everyone. Also, do you know what that reminded me of? Then when I gave you that. What? You know the thing from Ice Age? Is it Sid the Sloth where he goes, It's the last dandelion. Ah, dandelion. That, <laughs> that was a really bad impression. <laughs> Josh has decided to put the buttercup behind my ear and he's now taking a picture of me. Dude. We were just discussing how this meadow is bringing back our childhood vibes. Not only have we got buttercups, we've also got these. It's the flower of a clover and we used to hunt when we were little to see if we could find a four leaf clover because they're meant to be good luck. But alas, we never found them. So technically that meadow is actually outside of Manor Park, but you can walk in and out of the park from that end. We've now come back into the park grounds and it's really peaceful. All I can hear is birds. Hello. It's <laughs> and me. And you. But it's amazing how quickly you can go from like the village center feeling like you're in the middle of nowhere, just like that. We're not really sure what these are for, but there's just these wooden posts with different leaves on the top. Oh, they're in a circle, so I'm guessing you'll sit on. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe it is a little seat. Talk about your day. That one, I'd have to have a small bum to sit on that one, though. Just need like a little fire in the middle. Some marshmallows. I'll tell you what, how about I just leave you here? Oh, we forgot to get any duck food from the cafe to feed the ducks. Oh, sorry, we'll come back because we like it here. And this wouldn't be a video without delightful steps. There's always steps. It always matter. steps. This is like the flattest place on earth, unofficially. <laughs> and there's still steps. Three, two, one, run. Let's go. Hey, run, come on. Burning those calories for California. Come on, hop, 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 hop. <laughs> oh yeah, you did it. I need that defibrillator in that uh, phone box. So a couple of things we forgot to mention. Westmoreland Council have actually put up loads of blue plaques around the village, points of historical interest. So you can do a trail of them if you want to. Also, we park here at Manor Park. It's £2.30 all day, or you can use pay by phone, which is £2.50. If you want to see more of our Kent adventures, then check out the playlist that's on screen now, because there's a whole host of different places in there for you to enjoy.